What's up, everybody? It's your boy Young Soul, aka Super Sonic, and welcome to TJ Young Soul TV, guys. Now, guys, let me tell you what I'm gonna be doing today. So, guys, on today's TJ Young Soul TV, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to work on Serato DJ Pro. Now, let me tell you something. Serato is amazing. I feel like that's like the best software for DJs. Especially when it's like mixing and your music and your beats and all that stuff. Serato just has it all. It's amazing. And guys, also this video is not sponsored by Serato. But guys, in the comments, go ahead and type Serato. Hashtag Serato, actually. For guess what? They can see this video. So, but anyway, guys, I'm just showing you guys tips and ways. And show you guys how to like, just navigate your way through Serato. So guys, let's go ahead and get to the video. Oh, wait, guys. Before we get into the video, let me just say this real quick. Y'all, that Jive Biscuit video that I did, y'all. Oh, my God. You guys blew that thing up. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys all for the new subscribers who joined the channel, y'all. Y'all, wait for RITC 2022. Yo. Okay, now that's going to be huge. Y'all talking about Jive? Oh, my God, man. RITC, Charlotte, North Carolina is going to be like that. And also, guys. I'm doing something also in April. On April 30th, I'm doing the Kings of Southern Soul. Sorry, Lord, I don't know why I said it. Kings of Southern Soul, April 30th. And guys, I'm gonna let you guys know more updates about that. But guys, y'all, I'm on the road. I am on the road and I'm excited. And guys, positive energy along the way in the whole entire time. That's all we're doing. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to this video. So guys, when you hop in to Serato DJ Pro, guess what, let me tell you something. Do not be overwhelmed with all that stuff that's in there. Do not. I mean, you know, some things are gonna be probably a little hard to remember, but overall though, let me tell you something. Serato is easy. But guys, let me tell you something. Also, you know what I realized also too? This might be a little off the topic, but I love saying, let me tell you something. I got it from this song called For First Choice. Um, it's a love thing. I don't know why, but I just love it. But anyway, um, guys, that's really off the topic. <laughs> but guys, let me tell you something. <laughs> 2,000 years later. When you open DJ Serato Pro, the first thing you really want to do is, is start making your crates. Now, that's the kind of the first thing I really did. Stop dropping your music that you already kind of have, you know. Like, you know, when you're DJing for art, you don't really have as much you do. But just drop the music that you do have in the crates. Like, you know, you can make crates like house crates, R&B crates, 80s, 90s. 70s, like all type of crates and you can just drop the music or that genre of music in there and guys start off with that I don't know why but I just feel like that's very important especially if you got to play at a gig or whatever soon make sure your crates and all that stuff is organized and guys also one thing you can do with your crates is also analyze your files but guess what you can get all your BPMs all your keys all everything listed so guys that's also very important now guys, also there's a setting that I love about my screen that you can also change into or you can also have like kind of like a like, you know, like a 3D mode, I guess I can say, like a 3D mode and just like a regular mode. So like mine is kind of like the light up version of it and then the other one is kind of like, you know, the dark, you know, kind of version of it. So guys, you can also switch to that, which I feel like that's very cool and very, you know, something like upgradable. I say that's, yeah, that's my word, upgradable. Also guys, what I also love about DJ Serato Pro is this one thing. Listen, so guess what? When you're on the road or whatever, you're just chilling or whatever, you don't have one I feel like connecting your board or whatever, guys, you can literally mix, you can do a lot and play songs, you know, all that stuff you can play, mix songs or whatever without using your board. You can literally just use the keys on your computer and guys, I'm probably going to get in that until like a later video, but guys, you can use that, you can practice on that, you can look at the actually in the settings and it'll give you a whole format about the keys that you can use to like, you know, play on it, make little music and all that stuff and guys, I'm telling you something that is also cool because sometimes I be in the road I'm like you know what I'm thinking like a little mix or whatever I start making my mix I take out my computer use the keys and pick make a mix or whatever and guess what let me tell you something that's more easier because sometimes they're coming on the board and actually making a mix all that stuff not even gonna lie hands down like not even gonna lie I love it and it's just making life easier you know what I mean also guys you also have deck one and you have deck two and guys on both of them you have your cues your volume your plays your um loops your auto loops you also can have your sinks and you also can have your forwards the backwards and then also in the middle of it you have a pitch fader and 
also a crossfader, which is also very good. And I just love this program because you can just do anything you want to. So guys, also I might do a little tutorial on also like practicing that. But guys, right now I'm just like I said, just showing you guys, you know, basic like just showing you guys around or whatever, you know. And you guys, if you want me to go in further details about you know Serato and how the things actually work, go ahead and type that in the comment selection. I'm telling you guys, because you guys know I would do it for you guys. And guys, also there's something also I love like just about Serato is that guess what the thing is they will save all your music in one see that that's the best thing ever like they will save all your music in one you can literally leave the program and they'll save your music like it was just automatic slave but guys the only way you can like automatic slave your music is just by when you say when you click out it's gonna say do you wanna you know save your library or save any changes make sure that is always on and guys when that's always on you can ask like tap out or you know it might freeze or whatever not that I'm saying Serato freezes or whatever but it might freeze anything can happen like I said and guess what you still got all your music you still have all your crates you still all have everything like basically like a backup you know what I mean so guys that's also very important and if I do this one more time then I just don't know what I'm gonna do with my life but you guys get the idea also guys the key thing that I also love about Serato is say for instance if you're at your gig and you just kind of like everybody's kind of like chilling or whatever and you don't really feel like you know playing or it's like you don't have to necessarily play right now but you kind of want to leave some music on guys at the bottom at the bottom I don't know which kind of corner it is but at the bottom you can actually see an auto play and let me tell you something that is just like the easiest thing to do you can literally have a crate open and it's your press auto play and guess what it'll just start playing from top to bottom ASAP all in the exact VPM and everything so that's also very important to know and also there's also one thing that a lot of people ask like me like you know if I leave an auto play when the music just bounce up tempo and everything no it will go on the same exact tempo it will just go right down that tempo line so guys that's also very important to have also guys on the top of the screen actually too you can also view the settings and it'll show you guys you know your DJ preferences your audio your library displays your FXX and all that stuff and that's very important too and guys also DJ Serato Pro also have like you know I forgot how to say it but it's like you know certain like packs you can buy like certain other like you know um, FX you can buy which is also have like I just actually bought like a few FX like some time ago and those been helping my like blend well not helping but just adding more sauce you know like adding more sauce to the blend and I love it so guys also go and view through that because the settings is also a major thing in Serato and it has a lot of features to that too so yeah also guys at the bottom of your settings when you go to it always check for updates because you never know like not even gonna lie Serato be updating like quick like there's a lot of new things that be coming to it so guys also make sure you check your updates and download it to the recent update if your computer is like you know compatible or whatever to it so guys make sure you also download the recent updates and all that stuff because that's also very important also, when you open Serato at the like, you know, at the opening, you will see like file, browse, prepare, and also history. Now, history, listen, I love that thing. Listen, because there's many songs that I play or a certain mix in a line that I play, and I kind of forget like, oh, I, like what song did I play after that? I can go back to history and guess what? Find that song that I had played, which is also very amazing to have too, because I won't forget like you know my center or anything that I played and file. File is the best way to like transfer all your like you know for your hard drive to Serato. That's the easiest way to transfer it. You can literally go into files and then you know you'll see your hard drive and then press your hard drive and then collect the file or you know press the file that you need and put it in Serato. So those are two major things. But prepare and then browse. I mean it's like they're cool, but I don't really use it because I don't really need it. But overall though, use those. Very important. Okay guys, now we're coming up on our last final thing, and guess what, so on the crates, right? Before you make a crate or whatever, you will see a thing like, you know, SoundCloud, and there's some other things you will see too, but SoundCloud in particular. So guys, listen here. SoundCloud, sign into that. If you have a sound, like a SoundCloud account or whatever, and you post certain mixes or beats or all that stuff on there, go ahead and sign into that, because guess what, when you're finished making a mix or a beat or whatever, guess what you can do? You can literally already upload that to SoundCloud in literally 2.3 seconds. Now, if you don't tell me that's like the easiest shortcut ever, like, Lord, that is a blessing to have, because I don't feel like, you know, going to SoundCloud, transferring files, it's just too much. And guess what, Serato has it right there, so go make sure, if you have a SoundCloud or whatever, make sure you go ahead and sign into that or any other of the, like, you know, options they'll show you there that you can sign into. And yeah. 
Now guys, not even gonna lie, I really love doing this video because I can show people how to use Serato and other different, you know, type of DJ softwares. And guys, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, make sure you comment below, hit that community tab or anything. Just let me know or you can email me, you know what I mean? Right here, DJ on Soul, TJ31 at gmail.com. Like, just let me know. And guys, also... Thank you guys for just everything, for the support, like and commenting, subscribing, y'all. We're almost to 300 subscribers, y'all. Like, we're literally, what, about halfway? Thank you guys so much, man. And guys, we're going to keep on the grind. We're going to keep on having fun. Keep that positive energy, because that's what all it's about. And y'all, guess what? Make sure you see me in the next video. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, a comment, and definitely a subscribe. Because, guys, let me tell you something. We are on the roll! Like, we're literally almost, like I said, 300 subscribers, y'all. Thank you guys so much once again for the support. I cannot thank y'all enough. And guys, also, stay tuned for RTC Rolling the Carolinas. Stay tuned for that video. And guys, also, April 30th, the King of Southern Soul. Y'all, when I tell y'all, we are on the road. We are on the road. We ain't playing no game. So y'all make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn your no wait turn your post notifications on. I don't know why y'all like the energy I do on this camera. It's just like something about it. Like it even just makes me go crazy sometimes. But guys, let me just say this: y'all make sure you turn your post notifications on. And I hope you guys have a good night, day, anytime you see this video. And TJ on Soul TV. We'll see y'all next time. Gang in here.